Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the Husky 4.5 gallon silent air compressor from Home Depot, model 3320445. As per usual, we're going to unbox, give it a once over, run it through some tests, and compare it with an older pancake style unit from a decibel level standpoint. Let's get to it. Compared to most of my videos, the unboxing portion of this one will be very short. Inside, we start with the instruction manual and then pull out the compressor itself. That's it. No accessories or parts to assemble. So, let's move on. Outside the box, and it really is a nice looking unit. We've got a semi-gloss powder coat on the frame and a matte one on the instrument and control panel. Looking at it from the rear and the side, and we see the dual compressor setup and most of the plumbing. Frame welds look nice and clean, as does most of the plumbing. In fact, the whole unit just feels pretty high quality. If I had to nitpick, the only thing I'm not a fan of is the power switch. It's kind of awkward to actuate, and its quality doesn't appear to match the rest of the unit. Up front and left to right, we've got the tank pressure gauge, the regulator knob, the regulated pressure gauge, and the two quick connect fittings. It's important to get the right kind of fittings here. The Husky Silent Compressor uses the very common M style. I've made the mistake of buying the incorrect standard before under the false impression that they were all the same. Don't do that. I'll place a link below to the correct ones on Amazon. Also, the female fittings provided on the unit are of the newer one-handed variety, so just press them in. The handle is held in place by two adjustable cam locks, one on the left and one on the right. Once properly tightened and locked, they hold quite securely. Now I think it's time we talk about the real reason people are interested in this particular compressor. Its claim of being silent. Well, we know that's obviously a marketing term, but the actual figure of 80% is given. To be honest, I'm not exactly sure how they accomplished this massive noise reduction. The general design of a single motor powering two small compressors mimics what California Air Tools has been doing for years. So, maybe a patent expired. On the right hand side of the unit, we see a muffler on the exhaust, so that probably helps a little. As does the fact the entire motor assembly is vibration isolated from the frame by four large rubber bushings. To figure out exactly how quiet the new Husky is, I'm first going to set a baseline using what might be the most common compressor in America, or as you may know it, the noisiest little thing in your garage. So there it is, 89 decibels is what we're up against. And now, the Husky. about 71. That is remarkably quieter. Keep in mind that decibels are logarithmic, so I can confidently say that their claim of being 80% quieter is true. To actually hook the unit up to anything, we're going to need an air hose as this product does not ship with one. I'll be using the Flexzilla Pro. I've used this brand in the past and have always been impressed. It's light like a PVC hose, but flexible like a rubber one. Their use of the term flexible hybrid polymer sounds like marketing nonsense, but actually seems to work. I'll place a link below. It's an Amazon affiliate link for which the channel will earn a small commission. Use is greatly appreciated. But before getting going, let's take a moment to see what our charge time looks like. And while we're doing that, let's consider how much air we're compressing. Because this unit charges to 175 PSI, its smallish capacity of only 4.5 gallons punches above its weight class. Using Boyle's Law, we find this unit holds 53 gallons of atmospheric pressure air. By comparison, my 6 gallon porter cable that's rated for just 150 PSI holds 61. So despite having 25% less storage capacity by volume, the Husky only holds 14% less air.
and there it is. 2 minutes, 50 seconds, 0 to 175 PSI. Because we've got a decent amount of air on board, topping off four truck tires is no problem. Though, to be honest, any compressor could do this depending on how much they need to be topped off. In this case, only a couple pounds each, so no big deal. I'm also using this awesome little digital pressure gauge inflator combo I picked up. Make styling in precisely 30 PSI per manufacturer specs effortless. In case anyone didn't notice, the Husky Silent Air Compressor is a wheeled unit and you'll be glad it is. The beefy steel frame and dual hot dog tanks add up on the scale. Lugging it out to my travel trailer would be seriously cumbersome without the dolly setup. How heavy exactly? I'll show you. Seventy one pounds, give or take, according to my hanging luggage scale. That may sound like a lot or little, depending on how much you feel like carrying around. But consider this. The similarly sized Porter cable only clocks in at about 30 or 58 percent lighter. For anyone curious how the Quiet Husky handles something more demanding than airing up car tires, here it is running my full head framing nailer. I ended up getting 14 shots before a recharge that took about 50 seconds. So maybe not for full time use, but intermittently, not a problem. Running an impact wrench is also within the Husky owner's capability. My little stubby earthquake from Harbor Freight can pull the lugs off my Tacoma and barely slow down. Just keep in mind, you might not have the same luck if you're running the wrench off some small quarter inch air hose. Overall, I think this is a great unit. At a little over $200, you'll pay about a 50% premium for this unit over the tried and true but very loud pancake style compressors from many different brands. Idea one no longer needs to leave the room every time one's compressor recharges to make the additional cost worth it. And that will about do her for today. Like I said, short video. If you found any of this helpful, a like, share, or sub would be greatly appreciated. If not, hit that thumbs down button. Okay, take care.